What's up, YouTube? It's Chris from 1110 Garage. We're here, it's a Friday night. Figured it's time to pull the gas tank off this thing. For those of you who aren't aware, 2005 Speed Triple 1050 with only 1,300 miles. The fuel pump is toast. It's had gas in it for a very long time without running, so I'm gonna have to take this thing all the way apart and refresh the fuel pump system. Hopefully we'll get it running. It's in there pretty good. A little rubber mallet action to help uh, convince the bolt to come out. One thing I have heard about these tanks is that since they're made out of plastic, they tend to expand over time. So this might be kind of hard to put back on. We'll see. Then there should be some quick release fuel fittings on here. Okay, fuel lines off. It smells really bad. There we go. Anything else connected? Nope. All right. Takes off. Sweet. We're gonna check the airbox because it hasn't been checked in like 15 years. So we don't need beer, but I mean, it would be cool to have more beer, I guess. Ready? Is there any dead animals in there? That looks brand new because it is. Pull the, pull the throttle. Look at those butterflies opening. Checking for function. Literally not even any dust in here. The air filter is, is not even dirty. There's literally nothing in here. That's right. So, now that we checked that, let's put it all back together. What's next? Dumping the fuel out, I guess, of the tank. Just put it up vertically and open it in the back. Notice how I have a protective blankie down here. Oh, ew. Yeah, it's pretty gross. That brown stuff is all old gas. It's pretty nasty, huh? All right. That was fun. Now they were all high as fuck. Airbox off. 
I just can't forget to reconnect all this stuff. So, fuel line goes. Yes, it does. And I want to take the injectors off so we, I can clean them. It's going to be really fun. I bet they are clogged up full gas. And it would suck to put it all back together if uh, it turns out the fuel injectors are clogged anyway. Fuel injector. Fuel injector. Can't say I didn't ever bleed for you. All right. So we had the opportunity to throw some of these parts into an ultrasonic cleaner and get them all cleaned up. Fuel pump plate looks pretty good, as well as some of these connecting brackets. This is the strap that was around the fuel pump initially. Uh, fuel injectors seem to be pretty good. The rubber on the O-rings is still soft, so I'm gonna reuse those. The fuel level center is destroyed. I had to locate one from the Triumph dealer in Colorado because these parts are discontinued, so that's on the way. Also found out that I was missing a piece from the fuel pump that goes under here. It's called the fuel pump cushion. It was completely destroyed from the old fuel. So this is the old fuel pump as you can see, and this is the replacement fuel pump. Nice and shiny brand new. Same situation here with the fuel pressure regulator. Got a brand new one from Triumph that we'll be installing. So right now we're just waiting on some more parts to show up and then we'll be able to get this thing back together and see what happens at that point. Stay tuned for the next video.